Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys all new makeup and this is all going to be makeup from the new collab makeup line that was selected and handpicked by influencers for Sally's Beauty. Um, this is a new makeup line in Sally's that is exclusive to Sally's. My friend Raven um, was one of the people who um, was a part of the team that put together this makeup line. So proud of her, so proud of all of the other influencers that are a part of this team. It is available in the US and Canada and I'm really excited to show you guys this stuff. I mean, I've been hearing a lot about it. Everything here is less than $15, so it's a steal because you're getting some pretty good quality stuff for an inexpensive price. So if you guys wanna see what I use to get this full face, then you can just keep on watching. If you have any other questions about anything else that I'm wearing in the video, then you can check the description box and I will have that in there. Other than that, let's get on to the tutorial. I'm gonna go in order of how I would normally do my face and just show you guys all the products that I'm going to use to do a full face. I have the Fundamental Hydrating Primer. This is what it looks like. The packaging is nice. I like the color of it. There are more primers in the line. I don't have all of them. I only have this one, but I'm gonna be trying this one for you guys. And it's okay that it's hydrating. I know I have oily skin, but I live up north where it's a little bit cooler, the temperature is colder, and the air is much more dry, so my skin does need hydration. It is not a bad thing to use a hydrating primer if you have oily skin. In fact, it might be good for your skin and help you be less oily if you use a primer that's going to balance your skin out. So I'm gonna just massage this. And it feels very nice. Yeah, I like that. I don't look shiny and greasy. So moving on to the foundation. Now, um, there are three different types of complexion products. There is the Meet Your Matte Velvet Foundation. So this is the matte foundation. Bright Spark Radiant Foundation. That's what that looks like. Oh So Fresh Skin Tint. This is like a, a BB cream uh, tinted moisturizer. I'm going to be using the matte foundation because uh, I have oily skin. These are the darker shades. I have all the darker shades here. They do have a sponge and it's called the Multitasker Makeup Perfecting Sponge. And this is what it looks like. I did go wet it, um, but it does say that you can use it wet or dry depending on how full you want your foundation. Usually if you use a blending sponge dry, you get a fuller coverage. Um, if you want more of a dewy, more natural coverage, um, then you'll use this wet. So I'm gonna use it wet. In foundations, I'm usually the shade Caramel. I find that I'm always a caramel shade. No matter what foundation it is, I tend to be a caramel. So I'm thinking about actually mixing the uh, Radiant and the matte foundations just to like see what they look like together. Come on foundation, let's do this. Okay, here we go. There we go. That looks like it should be my shade. It's a pretty good match. It's not bad. It could stand to be a little bit more yellow. Now it is full coverage, I will say that. So this is the uh, angled foundation brush. It's flat at the top. Now we're gonna do the concealer. This is what the concealer looks like. The packaging is like, it's the same kind of like rounded structure. It's kind of like an octagon. I'm gonna try the concealer now. And this is the uh, liquid, no flaws liquid concealer. There's also a no flaws cream concealer, which is more like for spot concealing. And then there's a highlighting pen like this. So I'm gonna use the concealer and see how that looks under the eyes. Concealer is nice. It's very creamy. This is like a good yellow undertone. It's gonna look really nice on my skin. It kind of reminds me of um, the NARS Creamy Radiant. It has that like creamy consistency. I'm gonna blend this out with the other side of this sponge. This is Caramel Tawny 0809. So it's two color, it works for two different foundation colors. It's not super full coverage, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Yeah, concealer is nice. It's really nice concealer. I actually really like this concealer. All right, and so now we've got setting powders. We've got 
Set the Stage Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder, Almond Caramel, and Tawny Mocha. I'm gonna use Almond Caramel. That's cute, comes with a little, little puff. It says collab on there. This looks like a, kind of like a yellow powder, like um, Sasha Buttercup powder. It's kind of what it reminds me of. It looks kind of dark, so I hope that it doesn't look too dark under the eyes. It's not like patchy or anything, so it looks like the powder is actually really fine, like finely milled. I'm gonna use my sponge to take some of that powder and put that on my forehead. Press that into my skin on my forehead and around my chin area. I'm actually thinking that this powder helps to balance everything out. The pressed powder is called Kill the Shine. That's what it looks like. It has a mirror on the inside, so you can take this on the go with you you know, use it to touch up your face anywhere. I'm gonna use it with a brush though. Uh, and I'm gonna use this multitasking brush. I love how everything has this like rigid edge kind of, it has a little collab on there. Hopefully. It's actually not dark at all. So I could probably use this to set my whole face. So now I'm gonna go into the uh, contour and glow cream sculpting and I'm gonna use the contour brush compact contour at the top hmm it's a nice color it's um it's a little warm you know to warm up the edges of my face and I'm gonna use my foundation brush to blend that out my nose as well I like this brush because it can really like get in those in that nose area take this powder again and set everything so now we're going to try out blush um, there's two different blushes that I like here I got um, this soft spot sheer blush and this is the color meat meet cute and this is chatty I think I like chatty it looks kind of like a warm brick red I'm actually gonna take the uh, multitasking brush the same one that I use to kind of set my face and I'm going to use that and just swirl backwards because it's a darker blush so darker blushes I normally don't keep like right here in like like the center of my face because it's very pigmented Ooh. so I'm gonna swirl that and blend it out some because it's pretty though the faces I make when I put blush on so ugly it's a good everyday kind of schley you know oh I haven't done my eyebrows so there's two different types of eyebrow pencils, right? Um, when I was going through the eyebrows stuff, there is the Shape and Shade brow pencil. It looks like this, and it's a little thicker than this one. This is the Shape and Shade Ultra Fine. So I feel like I'm gonna like this one a little more. I usually don't go for brow pencils like this that are thicker, just because I have finer eyebrow hairs, and it's easier for me to get a more natural look when the brush is, or when the brow pencil is actually just as fine as my eyebrows. If you have thicker eyebrows, I would suggest going with something like this though. I've got rich brown. We're just gonna use that like I would my normal eyebrow pencil. It's actually, whoa, whoa. This eyebrow pencil is very fine. Like, it's definitely not thick and heavy which I really like because it looks really natural. Wow, you guys know I love a good brow pencil, so. Uh-oh. This is gonna be perfect for like no makeup makeup days when I just wanna wear brows and nothing else because my ColourPop brow pencil tends to be too dark sometimes. Like I can't get away with just wearing that um, with like no makeup on. But this I feel like I could wear on its own. It's really looking like, like my real hair. That is impressive. So, the brow pencil is a winner. 
I definitely like the brow pencil. I feel like it's very good. It looks really, really natural. I like. For the eyes, I wanted to do something like simple, but kind of like sultry. There's two of these palettes that I really like. I like the Get Ready With Me palette, and I like the Best of the Day. There are also these little trio shadow things. There's this one is hard headed and this one is meet up. I also have this one, it has blues in it and I'm not a huge fan of blue eyeshadow on me. Definitely not gonna use that, but um, it looks nice if you like blue eyeshadow. Um, I normally don't really do a ton of eyeshadow though. So this is the blending. I love these brushes. They feel so sleek and matte. I'm gonna use the top, this top shadow here just to blend all over the eye. There is a um, an eyeshadow primer, but I already have like concealer and powder on my eyes, so I don't need a primer, but if you go straight in to your eyeshadow before doing the rest of your face, then you would wanna use a primer. This brush is, the brushes are really soft too. They're really soft. It's particularly, I like the um, foundation brush. The softness of it is really, really nice. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of brown eyeshadow just by the lash line here, just to give a tiny bit of smokiness. I'm gonna take some of this orange and put it like in my crease, just to warm up my crease a bit. But I do wanna do some eyeliner. I haven't done eyeliner in a while. They have a couple different types of eyeliners here. They have pencil liners, they have liquid liners, they even have like white, um, white liquid and white pencil. They have a liner pen. It looks like that. Definitely going to be using. They also have a self sharpening eye pencil. It's a killer coal. It's called killer coal. But I'm going to try this pencil. This is the color Mischief. And it is kind of like a, it looks like a sparkly, a sparkly black. Yeah. Usually when I use a sparkly eyeliner, it kind of makes my, my eyes pop a little bit more. I'm gonna use the, some of this liner pen. Oh, that's very dark, okay. So this wing and this wing are not twins. I don't even think they're sisters. They might be cousins. So I'm gonna use the coal liner to smoke out my, my lower lash line. I'm gonna use this dark brown shadow. I feel like my eyeliner should like dip down in the, in the center of my eye. So I'm going to use the liner pen and just like eyeliner on fleek, girl. The the Works Mascara. And this is a all-in-one, unbelievably false lash effect mascara. And like I said, I love the packaging. I think it's so cute. It's a pretty good mascara. I can never really tell the huge difference between mascaras, but I think this one is doing a really good job of volumizing. I may not even have to wear false lashes. This is showing up pretty good. This is the highlighter. This is Glow Insane. And I'm just gonna take that down the bridge of my nose. It's a nice gold color. It's nice and golden. And I'm gonna blend that back. 
I'm also gonna put that on my brow bone. And it's a pretty subtle highlight. It's not like super, super blinging, but I feel like it's good for people who like an everyday kind of look. I actually have a whole box of lip colors, as you can see. There's like a ton of the colors in here. They have like satin lipsticks like this, like regular lipsticks, but they also have glosses. And these glosses are super, super cute. Um, they have liquid lipsticks as well. Um, and I love the... I love the packaging on the liquid lipsticks because it's like faded, it's pretty. Um, so they actually have these really pretty glosses, um, like this one and this one. They kind of remind me of the Fenty glosses. But this one is called Best in, Best in Glow and it's like a pink. Can y'all see that? This one's Play On. It's got like a purplish, bluish, metallic kind of tint. Can y'all see that? And then they have like regular glosses as well. So I'm gonna use one of the regular colored glosses. This is the Line and Define Lint Pencil and it's called Burnt Up. And it's like a like natural nude lip color. And I'm actually gonna fill, fill my whole lip in pretty much. And then this gloss is called Whatever. And it, to me, reminds me a lot of the Fenty gloss. And that is the lip color. Nice and neutral, nude, natural, natural. And then they also have makeup removers, just in case you guys didn't know. So they have this micellar cleansing water and they also have makeup wipes as well. So that's it for my makeup, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and let me know you wanna see more makeup tutorials, showing you guys a full face of all new products. Um, if you guys wanna know what I think are my takeaways, my go-tos, I would definitely, definitely, definitely say I love the concealer and the powder. I love these two, the powder in um, Almond Caramel and the Caramel Tawny Concealer. Really good, if you ever need just a, a setting powder or a concealer and you're like on the go and you're like passing by a Sally's, definitely pick those up. So I also really like the brow pencil. I feel like the brow pencil is really natural looking. It's not harsh at all. So if you find that some brow pencils are too harsh for you, this might be the one to go with. You definitely don't have to, but I went ahead and added some lashes, um, you know, just for some eye volume. I felt like I, I needed a little bit of balance to add to the look but other than that i am happy that you guys watched this video i was happy to show you everything i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i will talk to you guys in my next video okay surface surface